forget the handshake. Uh, I, I uh, like, is that how you guys like, oh, yeah. like between ballet dancers, is like, some kind of like a, like a code or something? Well, usually know. we take off your shoes, Ben. And uh, your yeah, shoes. do you guys ever do like a shoe so exchange? Actually, you or? have to put the point shoes on right now. I have a oh. pair. No, I'm absolutely not. Well, let me no, tell you something about these size 12 <laughs> double wides. They ain't getting into anything oh, pointy. Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh, no. yeah. yeah it's, I have yeah. the jaws of life at my disposal. Those won't even help us. All right. So. Welcome into Carpooling with Ben, folks. She's no stranger to the uh, the Camry of Wonder here, Kathleen Pletcher of First Works. Uh, you know, people don't realize some of the some of the art and some of the performances you bring here. They're launching not just for like a tour or season. They're launching premiere for the world here. Recently, you had. Uh, Ibex puppetry here. With, oh, uh, that was the so Hensons, exciting! Was awesome. Yes, Heather Hansen. Yeah, and they went on to New York. Right, New absolutely. Victory Theater. That, yep. That was so. all exciting. So you guys do amazing things over there. Fifteenth anniversary. It's all exciting. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to pick up. Uh, in just a few moments of dancing. But Kathleen, thank you for joining me. In oh, the I car love it! I love it! It's so fun. Nice, nice calm, smooth streets of province. <laughs> uh, bu, 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 bu. I yeah, know. <laughs> just, just a momentary. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So what's going on? So we're celebrating our 15th anniversary. I have a sticker for you. Okay, I'll put right. it on your shirt oh, at some point before fantastic. I get yeah, out. Absolutely. I'll and absolutely it's a, an incredibly exciting time. Our, our mission is to to lift Rhode Island through the arts and through world-class arts. And so coming up, the centerpiece of our 15th year, so it's 15 years of connecting art with audiences for First Works, yep. is Complexions Contemporary Ballet. They are America's first fully multicultural ballet company. Oh, wow. They are doing a program called From Bach to Bowie. So it, it features Stardust, which is this rock inspired really electrifying tribute to david bowie wow. so it knocks your socks off I like it, that. it's incredible and that's going to be april 17th at the vets memo to people wear two pairs of socks if your feet get cold because the first pair is going to get knocked off as, as you just <laughs> said so i want you to i don't want anybody not to be prepared it's it's going to be spring it's going to be spring but something that's so cool about first works is it's not like you bring listen there are a lot of great venues around here a lot of beautiful theaters a lot of great working companies and they bring a show in, it comes in, they do their performances, wows audience, and then they move on. You and, and the staff and the team over at First Works, you do something different when you can by bringing artists in to do education for kids. One of the principal dancers is here in Providence giving lessons and, and workshops to students Right. They, so they so it's not just when we can. To, right. This this is our mission, you yeah. know. We we are about lifting our community. That is students, that's education. We reach over 4,000 students a year across Rhode Island, 30 schools. So every public performance you see is the tip of the iceberg wow. because we're we're reaching kids and and we really believe changing lives that the arts change lives. They sure. they teach you how, how to think, how to be empowered, how to find your own voice. Sure. And that's something we want for our kids. And, and it's important to note that you are, while you're open to everybody, you guys are especially focusing on the Providence, the Central Falls, the Pawtucket, these, these communities that, you know, for the most part, they may be tight, but I think everybody has tight budgets, but especially those communities. And so you're bringing these opportunities, literally world-class opportunities every time. I remember seeing some of the kids faces last year right, when we had right. the big band there yeah, uh, with the Gershwin, Gershwin. Yeah, Gershwin, that Gershwin was big just band, unbelievable. You the yeah. kids, you think the kids won't get into it or you might have this, this, this thought process of like, oh, well, maybe the music's too old for these kids. Man, they were electric. That and, place was and awesome. And the thing is, if, if you're hearing this and you want your kids or your school, your kids' school, to participate, visit us at first-works.org. Learn about the education program. You know, this is core to what we do. We do these stunning performances and we do education. And of course, our year is always capped in June by PVD Fest, and sure. I hope we'll come back to talk about that. Yeah. But um, we're so excited by the way this changes lives. Yeah. And for First Works, 
it's about world-class performance and changing lives oh, and see. bringing artists to Providence and to Rhode Island who otherwise wouldn't come here. So Heather Henson, yes. when she came, Jim Henson's daughter of the Muppets, it was a whole week with the company right. reaching into different parts of the state. And just, just we're, we're working with artists who share that, yeah, who share that belief. Why is the arts important? It's also, I got to say, Stardust, Complexions from Bach to Bowie, really fun and entertaining. Yeah. But it does more than that. So, so there's a dual kind of thing. Yeah. It's the kind of fun you can feel good about in the morning. So this all goes down April 17th, meaning the, the, the pinnacle of everything. But leading up to it, you have had this dancer. Her name is Jillian Davis. Da yes. Jillian so Davis. She's, she's in been... her fifth year with the company, okay. an amazing dancer. And she not only dances with the company and works with the two principal co-founders, Desmond and Dwight, but she teaches in the academy. Wow. And so April 17th, is the performance at Providence Performing Arts Center. We're celebrating a, a partnership with them and that, uh, stay tuned for more, more and more. But um, also the night before, we will have the, the two artistic directors from American Ballet Theater background and Alvin Ailey American Dance um, coming to talk about their work. They're with the company. So you just need to keep checking first-works.org to see all the other things that you can participate in that are, you know, free. Awesome. Well, Not to we, mention that are free. Yeah. Well, we happen to be here at the PPAC right now. And, and uh, uh, why don't we do this? Are you going to um, clap your hands I, I and all of a I, sudden a dancer in, in, is going to appear? In honor of, in honor of uh, Benny's, you know, who we all loved and cherished and missed dearly, uh, the, the number one seller of the clapper. Oh, no. you clap it, ladies and gentlemen, a world-class <laughs> ballet performer, yes, dancer. dancer. Is, is it, what's the proper terminology? Um, usually it's just like a professional ballet dancer. We, of course, are performers, but... Um, yeah, ballet dancer. Ladies and gentlemen, Jillian Davis <laughs> yes. joins us in the car now here at PPAC. Everybody's got our seatbelts on. The the executive director has graciously taken the back seat, which, you know what, <laughs> in her role as executive director, you can also find her behind the scenes a lot of times, making sure everything's run. Kathleen Fletcher, always great to have you. Jillian, welcome to Rhode Island. Thank you. It's been uh, fun what an so introduction. Far. I yes. know. <laughs> so excited that you're here. Me too. Before the Bach to Bowie peak performance on April 17th, you're yes. here actually giving classes to students uh, of all varying abilities. Of so all varying abilities, yes. How did you get into ballet? How did I get into ballet? So when I was itty bitty, um, around three, my parents actually put me into classes. Okay. And it was the usual kind of tap and jazz combination. Okay. And we had a little bit of ballet. So after a few years of that, I loved every second of it I would always look forward to going class and when I was seven apparently I had to decide between ballet and then the tap jazz hip-hop route okay. and I don't remember this but I told my mom ballet like okay. with very much confidence and All that right. was kind of the end of that wow. just kind of everything continued and never stopped you've had an amazing career leading up to that you've been doing this professionally five years um, since I was 18, so, okay, so almost one year. 10, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost 10. <laughs> wow, that's, a, that's impressive. What other shows have you done, and, and what, what's probably, let me ask you this, where's the, where's the most unique place you've been, aside from Rhode Island? <laughs> uh, well, definitely overseas is always an adventure. Okay. Um, we've been to the Baltic States twice now since I've been with the company. Uh, this is my fifth season with them, so we've okay. definitely had our adventures. Um, we've been to Latvia and Lithuania. Latvia, when we were performing in Riga, was one of my favorite, like, first overseas moment. Um, Ukraine is a different culture, okay. for sure, mm -hmm. but their love for the arts is amazing at the same time. So we, I always enjoy performing over there as well. And we go almost every other year, if not every year. Um, we've been to Israel, which was beautiful. We were there for a week, wow. and we should be hopefully going back very soon. 
Um, but in the States, uh, we've performed in Los Angeles in the amazing Dorothy Chandler Pavilion uh, twice now since I've been with the company. Wow. And we've had sold out shows there, which in that theater, it's almost 5,000 seats. So that's pretty remarkable. They love them in LA. Yes. Really? They so we, love them. We in love LA. LA loves which us. is why it's we're so well, glad to bring well, complexions to Providence. Yeah. You know, I don't this know, is the promise. I don't know from a sports way how much LA loves us right about now the Rams, the <laughs> Dodgers. But <laughs> Nonetheless, we love you guys, and we're so happy that you're coming back. You've taught some classes already today. Yes. We're going to drop you off to teach more classes. Yep. What is it about working with these students and seeing this raw talent? What is it that what does this do for you as a dancer, as an artist? Um, as an artist, it kind of makes me think about different ways of approaching dance, like being the students are of all varying abilities. Some have never even seen or heard of ballet terminology ever. So I have to somehow translate to them what we do, what I've been doing since I was three. Wow. Like that are second, that's second nature to me. And so it's very interesting to be like, okay, like bend your knees and like maybe they all interpret it a different way. It's like, oh, well that's interesting. Like it's not wrong, it's just, right. you're just dancing. Sure. So it's always very interesting how I need to relate to them and how they understand it or how they take it. And so I've been really enjoying that. And I've been, t I taught at the J, I think it's the JMW. JMW in Pawtucket, yeah. Yes, oh, wow. I've taught there twice. I taught there, for, I've taught all, their, all the high school levels now. I taught freshmen yesterday, and then I taught the junior, sophomore, seniors today. And it was pretty spectacular. I mean, their dedication and their eagerness to try something new. Sure. Um, especially in just like an hour, an hour, 15 minutes yeah, yeah. of their day is very rewarding and I enjoy it very much. You've, you've been in performances, you've, you've worked with uh, various organizations. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you when you see an organization here in Rhode Island like First Works, uh, oh. you know, in their 15th year, bringing, just bringing this together, you know, what, what is that, what does that mean to you as a person who, who lives and, and survives via the arts? I mean, we appreciate it, of course, they're bringing it to different schools where they may not have known about us or heard about this kind of dance before. They're bringing in all sorts of different companies of different genres, which for the community, I think is really remarkable. Bach to Bowie, talk to me yes. about this from a person who is on the stage every night with it or day or whenever you perform it yeah um all the time at this point <laughs> um <laughs> Bach to Bowie is two very different approaches of Dwight Roden's work so Dwight Roden is one of the co-artistic directors and the main um choreographer for the company and he first of all we created Bowie in June of 2016 and we premiered it in Detroit at the Detroit Music Hall so thank you to Detroit for allowing us to create this. Hello Detroit. <laughs> Hello Detroit. Um, and we've been performing this um, as a dedication to Bowie. I mean David Bowie was such an amazing artist sure. and he unfortunately passed away in 2016 and we had this opportunity to create kind of a homage to him and I think Dwight did such a remarkable job of picking out songs that really represent different parts of his career and I was actually explaining this to someone earlier today but we start at the end of his life okay. so the very last album that he had Black Star um, we start with the song Lazarus which is very kind of brooding okay. I mean if you watch the music video that he had it's very mysterious in a way like he's wrapped in bandages it doesn't fully make sense, but he was basically writing his own death at that point. Okay. And so we start there, which is not what you expect. Like you expect everything to just be happy and sure. all that stuff. But that's the kind of artist that David Bowie was. So the, the fact that we're able to start there and then we rewind to almost the beginning of his career and the next song that we have is Changes. I think um, that's my cue. <laughs> that's, um, it kind of just shows the variety that David Bowie has just between those two, that transition in the very first part of the battle. Yeah. Look at that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in a Camry, a professional ballet dancer will plie. <laughs> no, is plie, is that right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> all of it. Wow, look at that. I mean, it's just so many words. 
I should have rented an RV then. for this so you could have performed. <laughs> right? I could just do a few dance moves in the moving car. That'll <laughs> be good. <laughs> it'll, it'll go over well with Have the, anything uh, to say about modern safety. love? That's part of Stardust, too. Oh, yeah. Too. I love modern love. It, we actually kind of channeled the, the voguing era for that part of our ballet. You'll, I, you'll see me attempting to vogue, which is why I only make a few appearances in that song. But it's one of the most fun sections in that. It comes right after a very pivotal moment where we perform to Heroes. Okay. Which um, at the time actually is when I'm gonna get a little down again, but um, the Orlando shooting unfortunately had just happened at that mm -hmm. time, True. and so when we premiered it, we kind of dedicated it towards that wow. cause. Well, I'm sure stuff like that means so much to people in the healing process, and yeah. while it may not touch everybody, many actions eventually touch people, and mm -hmm. and through dance and through the arts, you know, that can be a very uh, therapeutic and a, a very healing. Uh, medium for people. Which yeah, that's, that's it, incredible. It hits everybody in role. different ways too. Like it, that's that was kind of our dedication. But sometimes, like, just being in the the theater that we are in, like, we can feel the energy from the audience. We can feel them with us, and it's such a big open space. <laughs> it's kind of remarkable. Like it, sometimes it'll hit me in that way, just like how lucky I am to be on the stage doing what I do. Yeah, and then I can only imagine what the audience takes from it as well so and Julie. that's the power of live arts yes. yeah you know, i mean it, it doesn't happen anywhere else it's not replicable it's not you know yeah. you can't duplicate it sure. you, you can't get that off of youtube all the time or instagram no. it's no. very it's a very so, different experience for sure no disrespect to youtube and facebook we who love are, you are, are, yeah, we absolutely are doing a great yeah, job absolutely. but now uh jillian as you may imagine mm -hmm. i do not actually have a dancer's <laughs> body per se i'm working on it but it's hard to get, I must say. <laughs> I also have ADHD okay. really bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> how I'm driving a car and talking to you at the same time, I don't know. Well, we're doing but, it safely, so well, we're thank good. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My hands on the wheel, mind yes, on the moment. Yes, we got it. <laughs> but for somebody like myself, uh, going to the ballet, going to the theater to take mm -hmm. in a, a very you know formal program would be tough, okay? Because okay. I'm kind of hyper. <laughs> this, to me, from what you have talked about, from how Kathleen has described it, and just saying the energy, you mean I can applaud? Oh, yeah. And Please get into do. the music and, and rock do. out of my seat? Oh, All yeah. Right. They're, noted. They're, dancing is encouraged. Duly noted. I don't know <laughs> if you want to stand up and dance around, but definitely dance around in your seat. We'll see courtesy what, of the people around you, but I, I'm sure they would join in with you. As my you grandmother and my wife both tell me, remember who I am, who I belong <laughs> to, and act accordingly. Fair so, enough, but um, it's encouraged. You if, can do the yes, you can do all of that. All right, good. Yeah. So yes. <laughs> all right. If you were going to give any advice to any young artist out there, or the parents of a young ballet or dance, a uh, ballet dancer. Yes. Um, what's the what's the number one piece of advice you have? Number one piece of advice is to remember why you get into it in the first oh, place. I like that. I like because that. it is hard. <laughs> it's um, ballet is also very expensive in the training development of it, um, and then there's usually traveling involved at some point to go to summer intensives. Point shoes are very expensive. Just everything kind of going into it is expensive. Just remember why you started it, because when you get to those hard times, um, that can also that can be the deciding factor. It can sure. be, it can push you it, to continue. It can also make you realize that maybe there's another way that you can still be a part of the arts mm -hmm. and still help develop the arts, but maybe it's not dancing. Sure. And that's not like any disrespect to anybody. Like just dancing is very difficult. Injuries happen. Maybe sure. you have to. There's a lot of dancers that go into like physical therapy and nursing work and different aspects of still helping dancers. Yeah. That. And that's contributing to the arts, right? It there. is. That's so yeah. Great. So there's different ways of thinking about it, and I'm not saying that you have to, like, think a certain way, but there are multiple ways to contribute. And I think that's something that definitely the the student needs to think about as they're going into it, and the parent can understand that there are channels, but all like the first thing that you have to remember is that why you got into it in the first place, and that feeling that you get. Like every time I still go on the stage, it's like, okay, this is why I do what I do, and that's I'm very lucky to be able to have complexions where I get to travel around the world and I get to perform on all these stages. 
and that's just that was my dream and that's why I continue to push forward through my training and career so far there's a great phrase out there great mm. saying when you lose your why you lose your way yeah ah. and and I think that really applies here Kathleen I want to throw it to you as we wrap up here because you've got more people to teach Kathleen you've got an organization <laughs> to run I've got episodes to edit here yep. uh, Kathleen talk to me just give me that last pitch if people want to learn more and 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 what should people know about first works as 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 we as we as we cruise the the quiet and uh, smoothest streets of Providence. I, I think they uh, should know that first works <laughs> is searching the world for incredible world-class artists including those that are in our own backyard and that we discover but to really connect you with the arts with living arts that let us share the happiness and lift our community our state and I think that experience, whether it's in the theater, whether it's in a school, um, whether it's at a talk, uh, whether it's at a community dinner, whether it's in the streets at PVD Fest, uh, can, can make us just all have happier lives and better lives. And you can learn about all those things at first-works.org, including about Jillian's wonderful workshops and complexions and stardust, just mm -hmm. a amazing hit dance that kind of takes your idea of ballet if you think of ballet and you start to think formal you use the word formal mm -hmm. or classical you know yes classical training but it's it's like dancer as super athlete too yep. I know That's... we we try at first works to do a whole range of different disciplines but also big tent kind of performances that people are going to love for lots of different reasons and that's what we have with from Bach to Bowie that's and, so and great I mean I, I think I can sum it up as, as, as far as saying community local theater is the the very it's the lifeblood of the arts and, and with everything you know it's so critical it plays such a influential role and uh Jillian, thank you so much for coming to Providence. Thank you for not being completely creeped out by all the cameras and the lights here. I can't wait to see your Instagram story on this one. You're like, oh my God. I was just looked at by all these cameras. It's so weird. It's really fun, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, this is great. I'm, I'm glad, loving it. Glad you enjoyed it. So thank you. <laughs> yes, I thank you too, oh, Jillian. Thank you because it means so much that artists, First Works artists, come and really connect with our kids in First Works Arts Learning. You know, the kids yeah. in Pawtucket at JMW School are part of so much of what we do and, and for you to be part of that whole program means a lot. No, it's been thank such you. an honor and such a joy. So thank you for having me. I'm and when, really you, looking and forward when to you it. come back, you brought some nice weather this week while yes. you're here. When you come back, bring another bring 20. Bring another 20 degrees <laughs> exactly. with you. Exactly, I'm gonna bring the warmth with me this time. Please do. <laughs>